everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers in Michigan believe the properties of a strange compound could point the way to the development of quantum computers. The compound is samarium hexaboride. It's composed of samarium and boron. Its unusual electrical properties identify it as a topological insulator, a solid that conducts electricity across its surface but blocks current through its interior. Additionally, the physicists at the University of Michigan who tested samarium hexaboride found that its surface contained Dirac electrons, particles considered crucial to the ongoing development of quantum computing. The researchers stress that it's mostly these properties of samarium hexaboride that are of interest, not the material itself. It only seems to function as a topological insulator at ultra-cold temperatures. But studying, understanding, and learning to manipulate its fascinating properties will bring us that much closer to the next electronics revolution. This research is published in the journal Science. Speaking of quantum computing, researchers in the Netherlands have achieved a breakthrough that could someday lead to the quantum internet. Researchers have developed a technique that allows them to control the shape of individual photons. This capability will be vital to quantum telecommunications, allowing the quantum computers of the future to communicate with each other by exchanging signals consisting of precisely shaped photons. This research was conducted by scientists at Eindhoven University of Technology and the Foundation for Fundamental Research on Matter. It is published this week in the journal Nature Communications. And finally, researchers at Harvard are developing programmable vaccines to fight cancer and potentially other diseases as well. Scientists at Harvard's Viss Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering, as well as the Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, have discovered a biomaterial, mesoporous silica rods, or MSRs, that can be loaded with drug components and injected just beneath the skin. The MSRs then assemble into three-dimensional scaffolds and collect dendritic cells, which in turn trigger immune responses. For now, research on these so-called 3D vaccines is focusing on cancer, but in theory, the MSRs could be programmed to trigger immune responses against a wide variety of infectious diseases, including HIV. This research is published in the journal Nature Biotechnology. The electrical properties of an unusual compound and a new technique used to control the shape of photons may have opened the door to the age of quantum computing and programmable vaccines could soon be powerful weapons in the fight against cancer and infectious diseases. That's the good news. Yeah. It only took like 10 tries and we got it perfect.